Hi, this is Heidi Cooper of TorahFamilyLiving.com and I am super excited to show you the brand new Torah Family Living Planner for 23 and 24. Uh, this is the first one, hot off the presses. I just finished it and I'm just super excited to give you guys a glance inside. So it is uh, dated from July 23 of this year to June of next year, uh, 2024. And it will be available shortly and I will give you links to that. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look inside. Obviously this year is all about butterflies. I am so excited about all of these butterflies. They are just beautiful. Okay, so first inside uh, we have the Priestly Blessing. As always, I tuck that inside the cover. We have uh, the, now the Priestly Blessing is here and uh, it's actually on both. And a place to put your name. And we have the Amida prayers right here in the front. And a place for prayer requests. So when someone asks you, can you pray for me? You, instead of just saying, oh, sure, and then forgetting, you can get it written in here and keep track of those prayer requests. So there's several pages of that. And then, see, look at all the beautiful butterflies. I love the butterflies. And then there's some goal pages uh, to kind of give yourself a, a direction. And, and I would spend some time in prayer and asking, you know, where do you want me to go this year? What do you want me to do? Uh, what should be my priorities? Uh, and put them in here. So as you're weighing what to take on, what needs to uh, be put back on a shelf, you can look at these and, and kind of use that to help direct uh, what ends up actually in your schedule and what maybe needs to go. A whole bunch of passages, if you're ever at a loss for what to study or read, a whole bunch. Then we go into the monthly. And we've got the Torah portions on Shabbat, as usual. If you get an undated, you would need to uh, fill all that in yourself. But if you prefer to uh, fill in all the dates on your own, the undated option is a good choice. Uh, the month has a plastic clip-in bookmark, so you can, you can actually remove that. Not You have to work at it a little bit, but um, you can move that along to each month. And then in the weekly section, you have long um, columns for each day, and these are undated. And what I do is I fill in one week at a time. So either Friday or Sunday, I lay out uh, the next week. So you can fill in the date. I put my meals along the bottom and you can use this for whatever you need. It's, it's very open-ended. You can use it how it works for you. And then uh, what's going on during the day, a to-do list, however you wanna lay that out. Mine varies by the week, depending on what I need to use it for, uh, which is why I purposely leave it very open for you. Uh, so you've got the month back here and that's where I put appointments uh, things that I need to that that actually oh I need to be here at 2 30 for example I keep track of the feast days here that type of thing and then my my plans that are more detailed go on the weekly pages and then after the weekly section we have the feast day section and it, we start with Passover and I've got ideas to celebrate verses to study, and then place for you to lay out what you want to do uh, to celebrate each feast. The idea being, if you've actually taken time to lay out a plan, you are going to be more purposeful about keeping the feast rather than, oh my goodness, it's next week, what are we going to do? I want you to take the time to plan it out ahead so that you can, again, be purposeful in uh, celebrating these feasts with your family. And here are stickers. These are stickers. Um, that you can use to these feast day stickers. They will fit pretty well on the monthly layout. So you can lay out uh, the feast days with stickers. Cause I know, uh, you know, the calendars are slightly varied so you can put it right where, right where you need to. These are to show that the feast day starts the evening before. And these are the Omer counting stickers that you can put on your calendar as well. And then you've got a nice big open in this section at the back. Uh, notes and lists and I have uh, different types of pages so you can use what fits for the situation uh, lined pages a lot of people love these grid pages these these are really neat you can use those in a lot of different ways uh, this 
is designed to uh, keep track of specific projects. They're going to take a little longer than one or two steps. You can plan it out. And then some blank pages. You can, you know, if you need to sketch things, if you like to do uh, mind mapping, that type of thing, these will work great. So this is the basic planner and very, very sturdy covers so that this will last a long, this will last the year easily. Uh, so this is the basic planner. Now, if you have a need, you can add additional sections. Uh, for example, there's a section to uh, keep track of all your kids' schoolwork if you homeschool. There's a section uh, with a monthly budget, with chore charts that can be helpful in managing your home. And there is also a meal planning section. If you want to be a little more detailed, uh, I often just, we, we have a rotating menu, so I don't think a lot about it. I put it here, but if you want to be able to uh, use more variety, lay out more details, it also has a tear out uh, shopping list that can help you if you are wanting to be a little more detailed in your meal planning. So this is the, again, 2324 Tora Family Living Planner, and it will be available very soon. And I also want to mention, for those of you who plan to go to the Tora Sisters uh, women's Retreat in Grass Lake, Michigan in May, I will be there. And if you get this ordered ahead of time, I would be happy to give you free shipping and I will bring your order to you at the retreat. So I will put links for all of this information in uh, the description. And if you're going to be at the retreat, I am excited to see you there. I'm also excited for you to be able to manage your home well. And this is a tool that is designed to help you do that. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.